start here, be successful anywhere. Good day! We are proudly from the Crimson Tribe of Mabalacat City College. My name is Eliza Kimbao and I am glad to be one of your presenters for this event. Let me start with our chosen topic. Teaching language arts through literature is making the students more aware of the language they are not learning through the use of literature. It develops not only the written and oral skills of the students in the target language, but also it is a window opening into the culture of the target language, building up a cultural competence in students. Teaching language arts through literature helps us to talk about grammar and sentences with our students in an interactive way. We can talk about interesting topics and encourage our students to express their points of view. The magical world of books and stories attracts children instinctually as they are introduced to ideas, places, and characters they have never encountered before. Through stories, children learn about life and the world they live in. Therefore, we've come up with a way to teach language arts through the use of literature. For today's language topic, we have adjectives. Our group's technology-based instructional material is called the adjectives. We specifically highlighted the letters A, C, T, I, V, and E or the word active. Let us all be active and improve our language skill. So some of you might ask, what is adjectives? So adjectives is a children-friendly website that consists of an entertaining and educational collection of followable learning materials. These include the following. First, a chosen story with an audiobook in one, enjoyable mini games and activities, and of course, so much fun. And one great thing is, it is also available in any gadget you use. It can be in a desktop view, tablet view, and even in a cell phone view. Adjectives has been developed and optimized the work learning style of our diverse learners. As an online and in-class teaching resource, adjectives works well. Teachers can create discussions, activities, and quizzes on the website called Google Sites, where you can build a website for free. So going back, a single click on the adjectives homepage will take you directly to the content such as the energizer, the topic discussion, a storytelling, plus an activity, and a short quiz. And speaking of which, I am very thrilled to present to you our website. Please welcome adjectives. So we'll start by showing you our homepage or the first thing you will see when you click on the link to open this website. Here we have our logo on the top left part and also our tagline or slogan in the main body where it says, let's activate, learn and explore. And of course, here at Adjectives, Studying adjectives has never been this exciting. Fun and learning await, an adventure just for you we integrate. To move on, all you have to do is click the Start button and it will direct you to the succeeding parts of the instructional materials. Well, of course, it is just proper to gracefully welcome you with a greeting. So, welcome to Adjectives. Afterward, you will see a video for your class energizer. Okay, there it is. Since we all want to start the day right, a song and dance video is a great motivator. All you have to do is play the video and follow the steps. Let's watch it. Hi kids! Are you ready to sing the Alive Alert Awake Enthusiastic song? Ready? I'm a life alert, so we can to see us. I'm a life alert, so we can to see us. I'm a life alert, so we can to see us. I'm a life alert, so we can to see us. I'm a life alert, so we can to see us. 
All right, there you have it. Feeling energized already? Okay, great. So moving on, we have the discussion video of what is an adjective. You can use this to give more insights regarding the topic. Let's watch some part of the video. Good morning, children. How are you doing? Today, we are going to talk about adjectives. So, what is an adjective? Adjectives are describing words. Adjectives can describe the way something looks, tastes, smells, feels, or sounds. Okay, that is just a sneak peek of the video. So below, you'll see a written copy of the lesson and other more examples, just like what you are seeing on our screen. Those are our other more examples. Okay, next, we have the story slash audio book. So this is the story of the ugly duckling. This story is chosen because it gives relevant examples to the topic of adjectives. Okay, once again, let's hear some part of the story. The Ugly Duckling by Hans Christian Andersen It was a beautiful spring morning on a small farm near the woods. In a cool, shaded corner, a duck built a warm nest to sit on her four precious eggs. Strangely, one of the eggs was much larger than the rest. Okay, that is just the first part of the story. Okay, below is a written copy of the story itself. You can also read it once again if ever needed. Okay, next is It's Fun Time. Okay, let's see what we have here. So here, the pupils can access personally and answer the activity regarding the lesson and the story. But how can I know my pupils' course if you would ask? So well that is not a problem because this activity comes along with a google spreadsheet where your pupils scores will direct in there so it's pretty simple and of course helpful as well here we can try answering this activity okay you have to type your name first if you put your name and then answer the following so first you have to describe the egg let's put it shiny next then you have to describe the duck it is color yellow and lastly we have the picture of the nest so you have to describe it let's say it's rough okay, those are just examples okay then upon finishing go to the google spreadsheet link and there you have it okay see the answers and scores are recorded as well. Amazing, right? Okay. So, the same process applies through the quiz part. So, you have to take the quiz, okay? So, this one can be your post-assessment activity for the kids. All they have to do is identify the adjectives used in this sentence. So, once again, type your name, then answer. Just like what you are seeing on the screen. That is what you have to do. You must answer all the items. Okay, if you continue to answer and once you are finished or once you are done answering the quiz, all right there you have a score. So, okay, once done, check the spreadsheet again and there, scores and answers are automatically recorded. 
Okay, lastly, of course, for the last part of our website, give everyone a reward. You all did a great job. So that is the end part of the website. Just go back to the home button and to begin again. In addition, we put our instructional materials guide and information on the About Us button. Okay, just click it and it will redirect you to our details. Just like what you can see on the screen. If you scroll it down, you will see our very cute avatars. And those are made by our team. Cute, right? Okay, so... In conclusion, I must say, and I can proudly say that despite the inevitable predicament in this time of pandemic, the group or our team was able to do an excellent work in creating a research-rich website with standard materials to help kids improve their visual, auditory, reading, and kinesthetic skills. Finally, for our last words, this tech-based instructional material caters the ability to facilitate enjoyable yet educational learning, which is a vital factor in giving the learners needs. Surely, learning will never ever be boring. With adjectives and adventure we integrate, the knowledge we associate, and pupils we activate thank you all for listening have a good day and to god be the glory